Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing some back planning for the week of May the 26th through June 1st. I was off for the majority of last week. I think I only winded up working like a day and a half. And so the week just kind of got away from me and I decided that I would do a plan with me, do a back plan with me with you all. I don't think I've done one in my Hobonichi Cousin on my channel. So this should be, this is a first, I believe, and this should be fun. So let us get started. As you see, I am going to be using stickers from Live Love Posh, and I will bring in some other stickers from some other shops and I'll be sure to list them in the description below. The one thing I am hoping to do this week for this particular spread because we are actually we're actually in June, like real time. It is uh June the 3rd. No, today's June the 4th. Yeah, today's Tuesday. <laughs> so, that is where I physically am, but as it pertains to the spread for this particular week, what I am challenging myself to do I decided to challenge myself to do is to set this up with no washi. So that is going to be quite a challenge for me because I love washi. I love whiteout and washi. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be using some whiteout for this week, but um, I'm trying to stay away from the washi and we will see how that goes. So I've already picked out what I wanted to use for this week. And it is these stickers here. And then we'll use some other stickers from here to bring it all together. And so the one cool thing about back planning is that I already know everything that happened. <laughs> so that is one thing I don't have to like wonder if it's gonna happen or anything like that. Everything has already transpired. You see some ghosting here. I have already set up my spread for the week we are actually in. And so that is what you see here. And if you hang out with me a little longer, I will let you see what this actual week <laughs> um, looks like. Because I was off, I am not going to break up my spread as I typically do because I am not using washi this week and I was out for the majority of the week, I get a chance to do something different. And what that looks like, I do not know. So let me go ahead and take care of whiting out the rest of up here and then we'll go from there. I think I can probably use these. Understanding that there will be some overlap. Let me see. I just had an idea. Let's see. It will make my spread look a little different. But let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm good with that. It's different, but I am good with that. All right, I am going to go ahead and pull in my calendar. So I just wanted to let you know what goes here, just in case you haven't been here before or you have been here and you just don't remember. So here I 
track four different things. Well, actually, I track three different things. And then I list my colors. I track filming and editing. And then when it comes to the other two things, it's my water consumption and my audiobooks. So that's what I do here in this section. I usually start off with the colors, then film and edit, then water, then audiobooks. Today, we're gonna do something different just in terms of the order. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so when I went to look for these stickers, I realized I had not put any dates down. So I will do that in a second. So let me go ahead and do this up here. I am going to finish up the sidebar, but I wanted to just add the dates and I went ahead and took these out because I wanted this sticker for Memorial Day and then of course those day off stickers for the days I was off. But I'm gonna finish this first. I only winded up filming or editing three days last week. So I'm only going to make space available for three days okay so i went for one sticker and then i thought about the other things that i wanted to capture and so i just decided to go ahead and pull all of those stickers so i use this one occasionally for my audiobooks Is my sidebar and so I am just gonna go through and do each day for the week and that's pretty much it I did not do much on Sunday because I had a migraine I had a migraine Sunday and Monday so I stayed in the bed for the majority of both days. So there were a lot of, a lot of naps. I was definitely like the champion of naps on Sunday and Monday. <laughs> so I don't have much to put for here, but I think I do want to add some decorative stickers. I'm not sure. I'm, I just need to kind of like see like stop talking and see kind of thing. <laughs> but um, so yeah, those, that was my Sunday and Monday. Those were my migraine days. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, I did a few things. Thursday, I returned to work. And then Friday, I worked for the majority of the day, but then I was off in the latter part of the afternoon for an appointment. And then of course, then we have Saturday. And so, okay. Let's, let's get started.
Okay, so I had to take a break and I made some changes before I started recording. I was able to find this purple sticker which says today has been canceled. So I whited out the days and then the word days and then I did two days and then this particular sticker. And then for here, I changed out the language here to be a little bit more specific. And um, that is that I got some smoke detectors installed. And so I already had local smoke detectors, but now the ones I got installed are connected to my security company. So that happened on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I got my hair done and I got a leave-in conditioner. So I typically like to put what type of treatment I got or what I got done um, at that particular visit. So whether it's a trim or a leave-in or a protein treatment, like whatever it is that we did outside of just, you know, washing my hair, I like to write it out here, either here or I will write it out in my daily section. Okay, so I am going to finish up. I'm trying to see what else there was for Wednesday. I have my notes. My notes are over here <laughs> to my right. So I am just taking a look at those notes for a second to make sure I do not forget anything for Wednesday. So I did do some editing and I listened to my audiobook. So I decided to move this sticker down a little bit because I am kind of thinking about the decorative stickers, the floral stickers that I still want to add. I'm not quite sure where I will place them, but I just want to make sure I have room in between these boxes just in case. So Wednesday is done. I actually do need these stickers, these stickers here for Thursday, but I worked on Thursday. So I had two meetings. I am going to use these stickers here to indicate those meetings. I had a meeting at 1.30 and then I had a meeting at in addition to editing on Thursday, I also uploaded a video and that video is my paint palette and brush rest combo. So I made it out of coffee and clay and that is what I posted last Thursday. So if by chance you are interested in checking that out, I'll be sure to leave it in the description below and you will probably find it in the cards. Let us put down a sticker for my video. So I think I mentioned this maybe earlier this year or late last year in one of my planning videos. And that is that, and that is, <laughs> that I am trying to be less of a hoarder of stickers, more of a user. And so I feel like I'm doing okay. <laughs> it could be better in terms of me using more stickers, but I will say that I have not purchased any new stickers since I don't know, maybe like the beginning of the year. So that is like really good for me. Before I finish my back planning, I wanted to drop this in here because I said I would share it with you. And so this is 
for the week of June the 2nd through June the 8th. So this is the week we are actually in. It is Tuesday the 4th and I just really like how this spread turned out. I love the colors. I love ice cream. Like I'm so here for this spread. <laughs> And so I want to share with you the stickers that I used. They are from Elisa Ravel. And this is the Hobonichi Cousin Weekly A. And this is the Journaling and More Sheet A and Sheet B. And these stickers here for the days of the week, they are actually from another kit that I have from her that I had used some weeks ago or some months ago actually at this point. And so I decided to go ahead and use these stickers from that kit so that I can finish out that sheet because I am trying to, you know, use my stickers and not just have these random sheets with like seven stickers on it. Okay, so let us, let us finish this up. When I tell you I am so happy <laughs> with how this came out and it's just so funny to me because I'm so locked in with washi and this week I challenged myself to not use washi tape and it came out so nice. <laughs> Like, I'm so happy about it. Like, I am like all smiles, legit, like all smiles. Let me know what you think about back planning. And if you like this spread, please do give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one.